Good afternoon. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak says he's appalled by the deaths and has summoned the Israeli ambassador for the first time in 12 years. It comes after the death. However, Ori Javati from the NGO Breaking the Silence said the killing of aid workers is terrible, but so is the killing of tens of thousands of other innocent people. Dozens of people remain trapped as a huge rescue operation continues after Taiwan's powerful earthquake. A major new NHS study has found around one in seven adults in England have been waiting at least a year for a hospital appointment, test or treatment. The Royal Mail has warned up to 1,000 jobs could be lost as part of plans to slash services. In proposals outlined... And do you have a genuine interest in good knowledge of Harry Styles? Well, this could be the job for you. The Homes Chat latest weather time now with Isabel Lang. Thanks, Daisy. Good afternoon. The Prime Minister has echoed the calls of other world leaders in demanding an urgent and transparent investigation into the deaths of three British aid workers in Gaza, who he's praised as brave. In light of the strikes, military analyst Sean Bell told Talk TV the pressure is being ramped up on Israel to show it's willing to allow aid into Gaza. Meanwhile, new polling has shown the Tories are on course for a worse election defeat than in 1997. More than 100 people remain trapped as a huge rescue operation. Royal Mail has warned up to 1,000 jobs could be lost as part of plans to cut services. The former president of the Spanish Football Federation, Luis Rubiales, has been arrested as part of a corruption investigation. A new NHS survey has found around 1 in 20 adults in England who ring their GP are told to call back on another day. The That's the latest weather time now with Isabel Lang.